Hello, gang. How's it going? Thank you for coming. My name is Comptroller Jeff Davis, and Harmontown is now in session. Rob Schraub! Town, Dan Harmon. Thanks, folks. <sighs> All right. We got a lot of show for you tonight, uh, so let me uh, get my thoughts out there. Looking good, Dan. Oh, thanks, buddy. I wasn't fishing for that. Is uh, is that a Hawaiian um, design on your shirt there? That design. This is a shirt from Tahiti. Where Can I, I see your shirt? This is a shirt. Thank that you. Tahiti on it. <laughs> Looks Hawaiian. Yeah. You guys see this documentary about Michelle Carter, the uh, the young lady who was famous a, few, a while back. For, you know, remember the big viral story? She uh, encouraged the suicide of the of her boyfriend through text messages. Remember that? Yeah. No. Gotta watch this. Gotta watch this documentary. Uh, I think it's a mini series. Maybe, maybe there's a couple parts, and I can't remember where the hell. Sorry, just Google it. There's got to be one documentary. I was watch it. Sorry, I should have got my facts straight. But I really recommend it. It's fucking incredible. I, I, I it's, it's, it's mind blowing to me how like it's just it, you receive the story, and it's like how many more details could you possibly get? You felt at the time that you got the details, and that's what's click clickable about stuff is always the gritty details. But it, it, the documentary kind of reveals that, like, most things probably, like, if you get all the gritty details, the grit becomes this homogenous paste, and what you have is a big fucking pudding of a couple crazy kids, neither of which really deserve... I, I mean, I don't... I, I personally got to the end of the documentary feeling like... I wouldn't... If I was a judge, I wouldn't charge her with anything. And, I, I, it, it, and if you haven't watched the documentary, I, I realize how insane that must sound, which is why you have to watch it, because we all we all read the same headlines and news stories. Like, and it's so it's it's it is pretty crazy to see like how like 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 directed your uh, thoughts get by the total just uh, 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 impersonal system of click following, you know, like like what's selling? What are people going to click on? And how underneath it, mythically, it really does have to do with, it's like, like one of the, there's a journalist in there who kind of lays it down and goes like, this has to do with teenage girls and our desire to believe that they're crazy, stupid, psycho, spoiled, you know, and we, 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 we click on that story over and over again. Like we have these archetypes that we want to invest in. I had to check out that documentary. Only reason I wrote it down is because oh, I was like, check I was like, it out. Do you think? I was like, so they have this like title sequence. It's like one of this oh fancy HBO show. It's got a title sequence that's like just like kind of images. But it's like, and I was like, am I getting older? Or am I just finding more stuff in poor taste now? The the title sequence is just a smoky indoor uh, in, in interior of a car. <laughs> it's just like smoke and like a gear shift and like, I'm like, what? Don't what? <laughs> Because the guy killed himself with the carbon monoxide in his oh. car. Oh, yeah. And it's like, so it's like, like, <laughs> it was like, like, smoky car. Yeah, I get it. Like, what? Mickey Mouse in it, you know? Like, creatively, that's offensive before you even get into psychologically. Anyways, all right. Okay, moving right along. Did you know goats? Uh, we were at a wedding. They had goats at the wedding. Or the wedding was at a place that had goats. You know, they got square. Wait, wait, wait. 
Which, which was it? <laughs> well, I'm not going to cast any aspersions because both families are from Georgia. So, but no, it was a. Uh, they're they're good. They're were goats good. invited to the wedding, or this is a wedding? It was, that, at, uh, that was goat adjacent. It, it was, was the husband's family. It was at this. It was at this crazy kind of like greenhouse farm in Santa Barbara. Yeah, it was Spencer this beautiful was remote farm location. The actual service was right on this like plane overlooking the beach, like you see in like a Hollywood movie of a wedding, and we're like, that doesn't happen in real life. It was yeah. nuts. Do you see those goats? Did you hear? Were you there? Oh yeah, I'm goats? well acquainted with goat pupils. Continue. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Goat pupils are rectangular. They yes, got they are. Ninety degree yeah. corners. They're you didn't like, know this. They look like panorama thumbnails. You didn't know no, this because they have three hundred. We've been doing this vision. podcast for seven years, and we never. You, you still don't know you that goat still don't know this. <laughs> it's so that goats can have three hundred and thirty degree vision, which at first you That's think hot. you're a goat. You, who even cares what's in front of you? Um, wait, wait, were these goats just... That's exactly the point. Were these goats just intermittent? Were they wandering about? Like, 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 they're they were in a pen. But, I hear that goats' legs on one side are shorter than the yeah. other. Is that true? But well, then you look yeah. around and you see all these other animals. <laughs> you he, see some chickens. He, he evaded your question, Rob. Yeah, you he, see how he evaded that? And truth. you see some cows. Or, or, or I'm just finishing my bit. I might be just finishing my bit. Um, <laughs> and you look around and you see some chickens... And some cows, and they all got these big round eyes, and the goat's like, what'd you have for breakfast? Rectangular, uh, yeah, that's why they need them. 330 degree vision. When's the last time you ate a goat? Brother? All right. Last week. Wait, but what, you guys had some funny questions about was it. Was there, like, why, like... Rob says, Rob alleges that half of uh, goat's legs are shorter than the other half. Right. I think that's, maybe those, there's a certain breed of goats, a certain subspecies or whatever. Circle maybe, goats. You know, they, 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 they uh, unless that's a myth, the, the, yeah, because they, they're born on the side of mountains. Whoa. I, I grew up with a goat. We had a goat when I was a kid. That's awesome. And then one day, a, our horse fell on the goat and knocked one of the horns out of the goat's head. Have I told this story before? No. What happened? The goat... He just told you. Shut up. <laughs> the horse... The goat, I'm the, busy. The, the goat had one of his horns... I, think, I believe it was his left horn completely... Steve Levy Thanks, uh, Steve. On, the, on the ice machine. Uh, uh, the horn was knocked clear out of its head... And then maggots would get into it because now there was a clean path into its oh, brain. Yeah, I remember sure. you talking about that. Yeah. We've talked about this before. Clear path into not its be. brain. Yeah. And then I, I would uh, have to trade off with my brother for the shittiest chore of all time was go out with a can of like a spray can of iodine and a spoon. Sure. A metal spoon, like a big like. You ever scoop out any brains? Uh, well, no, because uh, I didn't get, have to get that far in there, but I had to go and spray yellow awful iodine and like headlock a goat and spray iodine into it which the goat guess what didn't like that sure <laughs> and then painful. I would take the spoon and scrape out the maggots and throw them out and it would make a, a kind of a scrapey bone sound because a bony scrapey we had to do that until the uh, until the horn started regrowing and I didn't have to scrape uh, maggots out of a goat face well you didn't finish your story huh you didn't finish the oh, story so, I, uh, so long story short I'm fucking it <laughs> You so know what the, and I the, mean the uh, fucking it. Fucking so, the brain so hole. So the end of your bit was chickens and cows have round eyes? <laughs> no, the end of the and bit... And you were upset that we didn't know you were doing a the bit? The end of the bit uh, was he says, what did you have for breakfast? Upset? <laughs> Bored? Yeah. Like, 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 over it, you know? I'm just like, yeah, I'll finish talking about this. What'd you have for breakfast? Um, What'd you have for breakfast? That was the You know joke. what that's a metaphor for, that goat. Wife. Well, the rust belt. Oh. Well, oh, okay. Lost its horn, you right. know? Okay. Clear path to its brain. Okay. Through that wound. It's Maggots like set in. W Wizard of Oz kind of yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. I was... I was just to finish. I was getting to the, the goat thanked Jeff. He said thank you. You know, that's like Jeff's stories. Oh, yeah. the goat thanked me. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the goat like, thanked thank him. you. Do you think that? Okay, so I was thinking about my dogs today while I was I in the pool, and I was I was I suddenly thought like you know because we we put all this to do about like oh mankind shaped dogs like development you know and. Like, but then I started to think, like, because it was, you know, it was like I've always used the example of like, well, you know, there's a, it's like what we're not saying about that shaping is that the 
dogs that didn't behave or look the way we liked. You know, they ended up thrown on the campfire. And it was like, like that's how you like shape an animal that fast. And it's just like awful eugenics. But then, and then I was thinking today, I was like, you know, these dogs, like, I, I, cause I was watching Harvey's tale and I'm like, he's in a new house and it's like, there's a, I, I, I've, I've, I've read online about the vocabulary of their tails. You know, there's a whole language to their tails. It's like, it's it, it certain altitudes and angles and then like amounts of rhythms of wagging and all this stuff. And um, I, 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 I was like, you know, but there was nothing that I read in the article about dogs' tails that actually surprised me. And, and then it made me, I was like, well, yeah, that's kind of a, I already knew that. I already, I didn't see it written in print, but I knew that the higher the tail this and the slower the tail that and blah, blah, blah. And then I was thinking today, I'm like, you know, so I have an inborn sense in me as a homo sapien of like dog tail recognizing just as much as dogs are being born that have this sort of innate sense of like they look at the more expressive side of our face they they don't know they're being born with this like these predisposed bred into their gene pool like uh uh, uh couplings with human behavior and i'm starting to think like well geez well we're human you know don't you think that there's a certain amount to which like only the humans that understood dogs well enough survived to reproduce with other humans? Yeah. No, after after a I certain point, know. like if you're just not a dog person, by the way, how many not a dog people are here, homo sapiens? Not a lot. I mean, some of you don't have dogs, but and a lot of people hate cats. I don't get them. But uh, like, 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 how many people are just like, I'm not a dog, dog person. Like, maybe not a dog owner because you're scared. You don't want to like, you know, engage in this freaky relationship. I get you, that. You, I you're get saying that, that uh, humans' love of dogs that that, that is a that, we've that, been that's... we've been bred out. Dog haters have, are gone. They don't they don't get laid. <laughs> they might even get mauled to death. We don't know what dead are, men tell no tales. Are, like, are there we, any dogs? We are a species. Does anybody here like and be honest and don't just you know. To, like lie about it. But, like, does anybody don't here, try to be a hero by saying you hate dogs. Yeah, but does anybody here actually have an aversion to dogs? Aversion is different. If I can say though, there's a lot of people with expensive. allergies. There's people who could be scared of dogs. Yeah, but but, but there, there was no applause for that. Right. right. I mean, I'm just yeah, yeah like, like like it really is cliche with that whole man's best friend thing. It's like geez, there's a two way street happening. I just thought today it was like, holy cow, man, who's walking who? You know, I mean, I'm sure we've had a tremendous impact, but like 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 we, I bet there is a whole like. Like like splinter of humans that don't exist because they couldn't read the tail right. You know what I mean? What does the high tail mean versus the low tail? Well, the high tail is just general. Like, I mean, what do you think it means? What do you feel it means in your heart if a dog's got its tail like way up in the air? Uh, excitement. Yeah, I mean, like like well, and 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 positive excitement, right? Like not just what what if a, that what if seems a, like a clickbait to me. Like the article. Well, want to know what your dog's feeling? <laughs> well, yeah. Based I mean, on tail, when it's wagging fast, <laughs> it's happy. What do you when think? When it's wagging slowly, it's what less it's happy. Like? What do you think? What about a dog when its tail is straight? Like, like, like if it's sticking straight out, like a Attention. board. Attention. Right. Like, like totally. Like a squirrel right? is in its and when it's area and when it's vision. down, yeah. we all know what that means. We use that expression for Ennui. ourselves. On we, yeah. <laughs> and then there's a whole language to their barks too, which we also instinctively understand. You test humans, including human non-dog owners, um, and they all have an innate understanding of which types of barks mean. There's a person at the door. Someone's trying to break into my car. Um, that they, they saw an animal. Like humans, do, do a bark for me, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna give you my honest like 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 Rorschach test. Right. Uh, like 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 you you give me. Can uh, I either, can I help? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna help you. Well, we're doing the barks or, or, or reading the barks. Are you barking? No, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm well, gonna I'm gonna reveal some things I've learned about dog barking by trying. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do. Can. I'm gonna do we'll a dog just, bark. We'll he'll do it and then we'll talk it over. Yeah, you do a bark and then Sh Shrab and I and Spencer we're gonna we're gonna analyze. Yeah, your okay, bark. but don't look at my face because I'll give it away because I'm human. Okay. So I'll, like uh, like yeah. okay, eyes closed. Okay, so here's dog bark number one. You tell me what this means. Okay, and then I'm this not is looking a, at uh, this is based on an actual bark that you are familiar with. I'm not looking at you. Yeah, and also I heard a. A thing on a podcast of two that breaks down like what how, the, the vocabulary of dog barks what's, like. What's the bog podcast? I can't remember. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. They didn't do any work. They don't deserve any credit. Okay. 
Uh, I, 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 I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not looking Dog at Dog bark you. number one. And tell me, tell me, tell me what this okay. means. Okay. Spencer Schraub and I are going to going to evaluate your bark. Okay. I got so much lint on my leg. Stay focused, Schraub. Okay. Sorry. Stay focused. Row, 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 row. Okay. I got okay. it. I got. Okay. I think I got this. One. Spencer, what, what do you think? That means everything. <laughs> Right. What you got, Rob? I said, get off. Get, it means get, get get out of here. Go, go. I think that, that it's a uh, stranger danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's here's, Wait, well, here's what's one the of the right things. Answer? So okay, let me try one more, and then we'll bring our guest out. One more? Uh, no, we're gonna do fucking thirty of these. Well, <laughs> well, we'll do we'll 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 okay. do it with her. Yeah, okay. we'll bring it. Um, she's a, she's a veterinarian. You're gonna love her. Okay. Um, the uh, here's here's a, here's another uh, type. So tell me what you think this part means. Can, can I look at you this time? No, well, no. I read it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, all right, all right. Because I'm going to express with my face, like or I'm going to have true. tells. Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Do it one more time. <laughs> Give it to Can me I again. have the bar? No, no, again. I'm not joking. Give it to me again. I know, I know, I know. Because that, 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 that I was think a lot I can of, do better, too. That, that can, was can a lot of. Uh, yeah. I, can I have the bark in the sound? That was a lot of the way I heard it in my head. Here we go. It's kind of like the first time you try to do Donald Trump. You know, <laughs> you just end up doing Seth Meyers. Okay. Um, all right. All right. All right. It is just dead. Paint, paint the space. Yeah, yeah. You, you Don't just, look at my face. Like I, I'm not, like, I, I, okay. I, I will never. Okay, just come on. <laughs> that means war is hell, man. They got Johnny. I, th- I think that means uh, stay away from my food. Yes. To, I, to, to whom? To whom? Another dog. Yes. <laughs> now, how does he know that? I tell you, what I learned in the He's podcast a dog is owner. the vocabulary of dogs. It's about sharpness of the bark versus like yeah. gravel. So it's like, and it's about so, so like the, 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 um, uh, the, the the more the sharper uh, the with the barks with more fidelity. Like if you looked at them on an oscilloscope, the ones with a definite shape to them that are this punctuated sharp sharp. They're, they're 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 announcing something, but right. if there's like more gravel, can I, of course, can I give the, you a scenario? Being a... Can I give you a scenario and then you could do a bark? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so my question is because we we have we have there's a stranger at the door. That's that bark. Right. Well, can I do? Wait, can I just do third one? I, I, I want to do the a most third one. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Emotionally nuanced you can do one. Okay, don't look at me because if you look at me, you'll know what it is. And we'll go back to what yeah, I yeah, wanted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. It was a good idea. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Here it goes. I'm not looking. <laughs> what do you guys Wait, think? What I, you... I would say take try that one more time. Okay, okay. Uh <laughs> All right. I think that's a dog that is sleepy and has taken mescaline. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, it's a good thing you didn't look at me. See, uh, I think I think that's like a dog, like like wanting to kind of play or, or whatever, kind of uh, you know, yeah. kind of going. Ah. There's a dog asking if they had gluten-free rolls, <laughs> and then realizing, you know what, it's about the carbs with me. I can't pretend it's healthy just because of some fucking gluten word I learned yesterday. Some... I'm out of here. I want to lose weight. I... Our is... next guest. Oh yeah, bring us. Well, bring no, it's Rob. What, no, was, your, no, what no. was your bit? What was your bit? I was gonna. I, it's not a bit. Uh, why, 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 why don't we bring out the guest and have her be a part of the, of, of this? Whoa, that involved. could be fun. Uh, this is steam, absolutely steamroll. This important inquiry that we're doing right now. Okay, our next guest has already been a guest very recently too. I just like her, and we thought we'd have her back. Let's have Heather Ann Campbell come out. Yeah. Hello, Heather Ann Campbell. Oh, hey, sorry. Hello, hi. 
Heather Ann Campbell, one of my favorite improvisers and favorite peoples in the universe. Hello. It's good to see you. Hi, Jeff. You look like the, like the, the, the Dark Knight version of a, like a Mario brother. <laughs> uh, see, I'll, take yeah. I'll take the, it. I'll take it. We're, yeah. we're kind of in the same outfit. Totally exactly. unplanned. Yeah. You both have uh, like coveralls on. Yeah. Right? We're gonna, and a hat. And a hat. We're starting a, a car wash. <laughs> Rob got steamrolled before you came out. What, what did you? What were you gonna? I was, was gonna give request? you a scenario, and I wanted to hear. Okay. What the dog? Heather, are you a dog owner? A dog? Jesus o- Christ! <laughs> I just Fucking wanna... five times in a row with this shit. <laughs> Heather, are you a dog aficionado? <laughs> are you a dog uh, lover? Dog liker? Do you have a dog? Are you I'm not doing I... it now. No, you. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm putting it on old. No, I, I, I no want, you're in charge. I, I want to bring our guest into the fold here, Shrab. No, I feel, I feel like, I feel like he, he had something he needed to say. So if you, if you have something, I'll, I can take. We can take a moment, and I'll answer. Or we can come back to that. I only ask, like, are, are you a dog person? Is this okay if I answer this? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, so I, I do. I'm taking. Yes, I, I co-own a dog with my girlfriend. Okay. Uh, it's primarily her dog, but now it is also my dog. Fantastic. So you're qualified to weigh in on this dog inqu- yes. inquiry that we are engaging yes. upon. Yes. Okay. What right. kind of dog? Okay. It is a it is a Maltese, and it's completely wall-eyed, and it just Hell came. Yeah. Uh, we just found out it has Cushing's disease. What? Oh, no. oh. What does that mean? Is that it that's where it plays Grand Moff Tarkin in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <Yay. laughs> <laughs> this did not deserve that mug. <laughs> that. If you want to see an unearned mug, five dollars a month. Five dollars a month <laughs> while it lasts. While supplies last. <laughs> uh, right. what, what is what, what is Cushing's disease? disease? I hope it's not serious. It, I hope it's adorable. Well, it, no. Uh, it thinks hot dogs are socks. Come on, <laughs> Cushing. That would be. It would be. It's not. A, uh, it. Um. It has a tumor mm. on either its its uh its pituitary or adrenal glands, which uh, release a bunch of cortisol into its blood, uh, which is the stress hormone. So the dog is totally stressed out oh, all the time. <laughs> it's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you find it delightful. I mean, if, <laughs> if you knew how dumb the dog looked. <laughs> Uh, but uh, there, it's on medicine, and hopefully it's tre- it's totally treatable. It's just not the most ideal way for a dog to live. Right. But it's going to be okay. Yeah. It, is, is, is that a disease that exists in humans or just in dogs? I, 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 I don't know. Right. I don't know. I'm not a... Yes. Yes. Cushing's yeah. disease affects human beings and dogs. It is transferable from one to the other. <laughs> <laughs> that, okay, great. I got a woo, so that's correct. Huh. All right. So, so yeah, somebody All right, got... Shrab, what was your thing going to be? <laughs> this is totally... Okay, so I was just going to say... You working on anything, Heather? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're like to other people, Shrab. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Very true. Very true. I was going to say, like, I want to give you a scenario. I want to hear what the dog bark would All sound right. like, okay? okay? And do we need to close our eyes while you do this or no? Oh, no, no, we're just going to hear well, your... Uh, we could, well, we could, you're going to know. Yeah, yeah. we're going to know because you say... We're going to know. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, okay, um, pay attention to me, to the owner. Like, pay attention. Like, pay attention. You want to hear what that bark sounds like? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, pay attention. Me saying pay, pay attention to me. Yeah, you're the dog, right, and I'm, I'm like... I'm like on my phone or I'm reading a book. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. So get, get, try to really get my attention. Okay. Okay, for real. Right. No. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, I, mean, I nailed it. I, it's a... All right. You uh, just wanted that to go on for an hour? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm a, I, you're the dog. 
and you're trying to express to Rob, your owner, or Heather, uh, that you haven't been walked in a while, and it's, and it's time to go romp and play. <laughs> I'll do what Harvey does. <laughs> he does these like Chewbacca like <laughs> utterances that are like human. It's like he's trying to talk like a person. Heather, what's your dog's name? Brooklyn. 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 My dog Lolly <laughs> s- sneezes. Okay. When she wants to be paid attention to, like if I'm in bed too long mm-hmm. in the morning, she'll go. <laughs> Does does Brooklyn do anything like that? <laughs> Brooklyn's too stressed out, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious what a Bro- stressed out Brooklyn, Brooklyn is. Perpe- like for the last few months, while she's been coming down with this, has been perpetually laid out in the middle of the room, arms fl- like belly flat on the ground, arms spread out like the world is moving too quickly. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh. like a bear rug. Oh. Yeah, like yeah. a bear rug. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so I I think I read that uh, sneezing in a dog means I'm not a threat. Like they'll sneeze when they play with each other to remind each really? other that they're not a threat. I think. Oh jeez, I thought there was. I thought my house was dirty. Like I, it's, like, like they're constantly, like, pss, pss, you know, like 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 with yeah. <laughs> that, they, I mean, and they also... do it together. They do. I'm like Jesus Christ. What's wrong with my house? Well, I'm they a... do it to each other. Well, yeah, they kind of like both like like especially if they've been laying around all mm-hmm. day and mm-hmm. then they kind of like start getting up and getting frisky and mm-hmm. then it's like, pfft, 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 like they start sneezing all over the I place think, i think that means i'm not a threat we're playing i mm. think i read that somewhere what does it mean that nigel just fucks the hell out of harvey yeah. like <laughs> i think i know i think it's just like anxiety yeah. but like like it's just like 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 because he Nigel can't win a game of fetch with Harvey, so he's just learned now. That's what I do. That if he lets Harvey get the ball, Harvey will eventually get so tired he has to lay down and like chew his ball and try to keep someone from taking it. And then Nigel's just like it's like climbs up behind him and just rails him for <laughs> until what? Until nothing. He's a fixed dog. Like I don't it can't be anything but pure just like comfort for him. What like, is Harvey's like what is the look on Harvey's, Harvey's face? Just like, Harvey just acts like either like, uh, Harvey like, acts like he paid for it, like like <laughs> like he's like yeah, <laughs> but but like not like oh yeah, but I, I can't tell if Harvey's ignoring it if he's conscious of it because Har- Nigel's not really getting anywhere near his actual opening. I mean, Harvey's the size of a skyscraper compared to him, so he's just like yeah, rubbing his Har- little... Harvey never has a very complicated look in his eyes. He, he's a pretty simple yeah. fellow. But Nigel, just like, his legs are so sh- sh- much shorter. So it's just like he, he just lays his front Legs on Harvey, like like, but so they just they don't touch the ground. He just like like gets on his back and like puts both paws on either side of him and lays his chin down across Harvey's back and just <laughs> for five dollars a month you can see. Uh. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm. Am I supposed to stop him? Do you know anything about this? No. I'm not asking because you're gay. I don't. <laughs> I'm asking because you're a dog owner. Uh. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, da- okay. You're not but, supposed uh, to stop. It's like sleepwalking. Is there anything like like this? Do- <laughs> I, I, you can't I, I, stop him. The, a human. I think humans have a hair trigger for this domination talk when we think about dogs and how they interact with I, each other. I, like I, I, what I've learned from modern dog books is that we 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 go to that word too much for to to explain their behavior. My dog fucks where the food comes out of, like it. It has a it has a toy that delivers treats, and after the treats have come out of the toy, it fucks the toy. <laughs> so I don't know that it's dominance. That's I think gratitude. It's, I think it's. <laughs> I think I think you're right because Lolly has we got we got her a a big stuffed animal. Mm-hmm. Actually, it was Kate's stuffed animal. Became Lolly's after we came home and caught her fucking the hell out of it, and she was just like. 
<laughs> Ooh, I was like, well, okay, well, now it's yours. <laughs> You're not going to hang out with that anymore. But but she'll, like, grab it and toss it around and flip it in the air and just, like, roll around on it and then finish with a good old yeah. bone. In yeah, it. same. Yeah. And my dog is a female dog, so I don't so I think mine. it's just fun. Yeah. I think I think if you want... What I've learned is that when it's doing... When she's fucking her toy... If I say, good girl, she'll look at me and stop. <laughs> like I, Because of the scrutiny. That's a normal reaction. Yeah, well, I think, I, I think she comes to, and it's like, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I can't What am I being told I'm like, good yeah. at? <laughs> I mean, She's good at fucking where the food comes out. <laughs> I wonder that's if it the... feels good at all, and if it does, if that's not incredibly frustrating because it can't achieve... The culminations. Do female dogs do like hump like 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 they actually do the, the yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 okay so Lolly they, they here's a, here's a, here's something that that Lolly does after she takes a shit so she'll take a <laughs> shit and then she'll like kick grass and dirt up and miss and all over the place like not even touching the shit she'll kick it on my face kick it on my arms kick it on the house whatever it's all over the place misses it now I know she's trying what she's probably trying to do, trying to cover up the shit. So no other animals come around and go, oh, there's shit here. I'm going to have a, a little dog to eat later. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's what. I, but it's like hardwired into yeah, her brain. I mean, I, I, I bet you're right, but boy, what a what an innocent time that yeah, must have been in, yeah. in the biosphere, <laughs> where you could just <laughs> window shop for feces. Hmm. 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 Smells like a rabbit's been around here. I think yeah. I'll just set up camp and wait for it to come back, take another shit, Well, they I'll probably do, yeah. because they go, oh, a rabbit but eats a lot of grass, so it's like, oh, I'm gonna go after that thing. And if you smell like, I know, but cut to this wilt. Blade Runner right. landscape of right, like right. flaming smokestacks. <laughs> right, right. But the animals are still doing the same things. But it's like, it's like, oh, better bury that shit yeah. lest a fucking jackalope uh, prey on me by smelling it. It's like you ain't got nothing to worry about. Here's, Here's another here's, thing: here's, here's, flies. Why do flies fly away when you go? They're on the shit. You, you walk up to the turd and the flies get, they go, run! <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Why do flies fly away? There's a big turd. What's you're, like, wrong with you're walking by and like, I wasn't going to do anything. You're fine. <laughs> I'm not going to take it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to swat yeah. you. But here's the thing. Here's, the, here's my question to the okay. room. So, so <laughs> my dog is really bad at covering up her own shit. I don't think she knows why she does it. She right. just knows I'm taking a shit. I got to do this thing. It's in my head. So she's doing it wrong. And... And I wish I could say, hey, you're, miss you're missing it. Just if you're going to do it, do it right or whatever. But my question is, what are we as human beings doing naturally right, right. but completely mm. wrong? You mm. know, like if like the next evolutionary stage looked down and went, oh, geez, why are you? you you're obviously doing that to do this, but you're doing it so well, wrong. Well, I'll, I'll tell you my, my vote. Here we go. Lying. I, th I think we're going to look back. Well, maybe not we, but like the next stage of our evolution, we're going to be like, holy shit, people just kept lying. It, it was like insane. It was killing them. They lied so much. And there was nothing to hide. What the hell were they? And then they'll be like, well, you don't understand at the time. It's like, if you told the truth about this, then you could get in a lot of trouble. It's like, yeah, but not if everyone told the truth. And they're going to be like really snobby about it. They're going to be like, all you got to do is just be honest. But they, they won't have a choice because they'll have USB uh, drives for brains that everyone can just look in. But, um, and that, but they're going to be fucking right. really happy and like incredibly horny. Because you won't have to go to a bar to, f to find out who's into tentacle porn. <laughs> hey, do, oh, one more animal fact. Octopuses? Do you guys know, do you guys know um, uh, that cows, uh, do you know why cows have hooves? Why do they? <laughs> they lack toes. Words. <laughs> he 
<laughs> do you know? Do you know what? Um, do you know what a female buffalo says to? Uh, uh, Here we go. <laughs> I don't know, why is she female? Do you know what a mommy buffalo says to her son when Bison. she drops him off at school? You fucker. Uh, I, but you, you, you said female buffalo, and I was like, bice it, but I didn't want to say it that early because that wouldn't yeah. be as impressive. What, say it again. What is a, what is a, what is a mommy buffalo Bison. say to her son? <laughs> Get off my lawn! <laughs> you know why Heather Ann's back? Why she texted me today? Campbell. <laughs> oh, we're not doing oh, jokes yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I trained you. What? To expect me. What? Do, you, do you know why Heather Ann? Campbell. Right. Um, uh, yeah, she, uh, 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 she texted me today, hey, I heard you like Hudson Hawk. Oh, and yeah. there's only one kind of person that texts that, a Hudson Hawk fan. <laughs> and I've only ever met one of them <laughs> through text today. I like I liked Hudson Hawk. All right, okay. Well, That's, There's uh, three of us. All right. I mean, I, I don't love it, but I, 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 it's, I it's, just it's, think it deserves more credit. I think it was Danny Aiello's best turn. As I said to Heather Ann today, I mean, uh, hey, all other movies, here's your medal for not trying. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hudson Hawk tries. Yes. I, I show the movie to friends once a year. I, I, I make people watch it on my birthday sometimes. <laughs> that and Xanadu. Xanadu. Z- Xanadu is, is a fucking freak out. Zan- Xanadu. It's not a great movie, and yet I'm fascinated by it. Yep. Is Xanadu the one with the leather X that Connery wears? No, no that's, that's, that's Zardoz. Zardoz. <laughs> Zardoz is fucking a bummer. Yeah. Zardoz, yeah. Is, I, I want to like Zardoz, but that, that movie does not want you to like it. No. no. Zardoz asks you to hate that movie. Yeah. B- because it, there's, there's only so much Sean Connery wearing uh, underpants and high uh, leather boots. I know I already mentioned this, and I can't remember the director's name, but the director's commentary for Zardoz does begin with the director saying, Hello, I'm so and so. I directed Zardoz, and I'll be the first to admit it kind of got away from me. <laughs> Let's ah! proceed. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> Got oh away from God. him. <laughs> wow. I mean, that the thing is, is the, uh, mo- the movie starts off. The movie was was the Rick and Morty episode. I show me what you got. That, that was that was a Zardoz riff, right? Uh, with, well, the, with the giant yeah, stone drop heads and loads floating down. Definitely. Yeah, the drop and loads heads that are on the uh, Gazorpazor planet with, the, with that that give all the sex dolls to the to the male population, the surface dwellers. Those heads are definitely Zardoz Sorry. heads, um, but they also are supposed. To, they look a little bit like Nick Manning, the porn star, and they drop loads and say drop and loads. <laughs> what happened to Nick Manning? He disappeared. <laughs> he was in a Batman porn parody. Yeah, what year? He's gone. He's his load <laughs> just dropped off the face of the earth. Who? Well, who are you talking about? Do you know? About? Do you know Nick, Nick Manning? No. Do you, you don't. You, no. It's the it's the younger. It's Peyton the guy. Manning. You don't think there's a guy that every time he comes in a porno, he says dropping loads. I do. I'm, like, not say, fam- <laughs> I'm happily unfamiliar with that. <laughs> it's, and it's like it's like he was he was on Stern a lot. Like Stern was fascinated with it because he was the first porn star that I know of that after like all these decades of of of, of porn movies, like finally one male porn star just decided, well, how about if every time I come I say the same thing, no matter what movie I'm in, no one can fire me. I just came. Drop and load. <laughs> He's in the Batman. Drop and load. In the Batman one, he says drop and bat loads. Ah. Uh. I mean, <laughs> I think that might have been his shark. Nick Manning, if, if you're out there and you're in trouble, like, come tell us about why is he, it. Why is he dropping him? Dropping is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know because it's not. I mean, it. it, it somebody. T- I remember reading an article about like there. You won't, you won't see a lot of uh, male porn star names. It, it, they they don't tend to go for like the dick uh, hard on. Like they don't. They try. They 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 steer. They steer clear of like uh, kind of like overtly um, uh, kind of like. E- 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 evocations of erectness and impenetrability and things like that, and and, and I, I, there's some psychological reason for that. 
Like, right. like, and, and so, and by the same token, that's probably why his catchphrase isn't like shooting lasers, you know, like he's just dropping loads. <laughs> it's like, is it, you want to throw it away. You don't want to, uh, look what I do. I fuck for a living. I don't fuck. I'm not, I'm not Flash Gordon <laughs> dropping loads. Yeah. I, I occasionally do a character on uh, on our Who's Live shows where I'm the world's oldest porn star, and his name is Dust, Dusty Loads. Yeah. <laughs> Giving loads. <laughs> do, do. <laughs> <laughs> granting yes. granting yes. a subscription <laughs> access to loads. Pro- proffering loads. Giving free loads with an in-app purchase. <laughs> A load, yeah, that fucking eagle song. Rolling down the lo- road, trying to loosen my load. That's the grossest lyric of all time. So, hey, eagles, stop loosening your load. Yeah, I've never come what I would call a load. Huh? I've never come what I would call a load. What, what would you call? What would you call it? Not I don't a load. know, like a teaspoon. A teaspoon. <laughs> you know, like a healthy teaspoon. If I'm like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I just like. Bequeathing teaspoon. Be- <laughs> <laughs> proffering, <laughs> proffering a healthy dose of medicine <laughs> that cures nothing. <laughs> Bequeathing a teaspoon. You know what's a cool word? Slake. Like, like a thirst? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing that gets slaked. Yeah. Pretty cool yeah, can word. you slake anything else? I don't think you can slake anything. I mean, you probably can. English is a no-wrong language. You can slake a thirst, language. but what, can, you, can you slake a dragon or slake a, a, a football? You like, can slake a dragon of thirst. <laughs> you slake the dragon of thirst, yeah. That's yeah. Sprite's new uh, <laughs> <laughs> Super Bowl halftime show slogan. Slake the dragon of thirst. <laughs> <laughs> Heather Ann, how's it going on uh, how did this get played? Uh, it's going well. Um, we had to cancel our London show today, and it made me real sad. Damn. Um, when, really, what, when was the it, London show? It was show? this Saturday. Is that going to... Wait, no, that's not London Comic Con or anything like no, that. No, it's London Podcast Festival. Oh, why, why did you cancel? Um, well, uh... Uh-oh. Un- Secret? Mm, Brexit. Un- huh? Brexit? Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Brexit. Uh, no, uh, my, I, I don't know what the, the, the official reason that was put out was, but my, uh, my co-host uh, fell ill, so we can't go. Uh, and I hope he gets better. But I was super bummed out because I love London. Yeah, yeah. it's the best. Yeah, it's fucking great. Who's, and, who's the co-host? Uh, Nick Weiger. Right. Nick Weiger. From oh, the sick guy. Yes. Not <laughs> sick guy. Sick wagger, yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, he's uh, he fell ill, so we can't go, and you know. I wonder if there's like some insurance reason why that had to be a secret, and now he's fucked. I think it was the th- the thing was that he, I don't think he want you know it's it, he didn't want to take all the ire for it, uh, but I just did that. So oh, I see. So he didn't he, they, he didn't want it to be because of him. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you know, now they know. It was Nick. <laughs> Have you been having fun playing a bad video game? That show is fun when we're recording, and it's really miserable the rest of the time. Because you're having to research. Yeah. So I play, on Sundays, I play like maybe four, five to eight hours of a terrible video game. And that's my schedule. My scheduled time to do the thing for the podcast and take a bunch of notes and I've had to give up like good video games. I've had, I right. can't play any good ones. I just play shit. I can't help but think that that sounds a little fun. Like w- <laughs> we thought it would be, and then our first episode in after the tape, Nick Nick was like, "I think we have miscalculated." Nah. <laughs> well, yeah. How do you pick the games? Like what? What you 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 seek out games that you know are going to be bad? Or? Yeah. So uh, either like via if there's like a theme, then it'll be like a Metacritic, like what's the worst game in this genre. Uh, today was uh, the episode was about Seaman, the uh, Dreamcast virtual pet, because today is the 20th anniversary of the release of the Dreamcast. Uh, so we picked that game. It sucked. Uh, they all they're all so bad. Seaman. Seaman. Yeah. Seaman is Colon a colon dropping loads. Yeah. <laughs> they really leaned into it with the press or the the advertisements. Are you taking off? He'll be back. You're gonna. You gotta go? I, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I drink too much. Are you going to drop soda. loads? 
All right. Are you going to come into the toilet? (laughs) (laughs) Don't get a turd pregnant. (laughs) (laughs) If you do, bring it on stage. Yeah. Seaman, notable for having a, a microphone peripheral. Am I mistaken? Yeah, there was a microphone that you snapped into the controller, and the only way to interact with the game was to talk to it. No, right. not the only way. Yeah. What, go left, go right? You can't. There is no go left. There's only talking to Seaman. Yeah, there's only talking. <laughs> it fucking sucks. I'm telling you, it fucking blows. Because it's Dreamcast what, 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 era What AI. year is this from? Like, uh, like 2000, 1999, somewhere in there. And you have to talk to it and say, go here, go there? No, you just talked. No. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. You just have breakfast? What you is just, it? You just, it you grows just talk up. to it. It grows up, and then you talk oh. to it, and it asks you questions and remembers your answers. And then it, Why is he sea man? Because he's, he's a, a fish. a fish with a human face, a bald man's <laughs> face. <laughs> Pretty unattractive. I'm telling you, the show is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> a grown ass man? Yeah, a grown yeah. human but, man's face and the fish body. And it's like a baby, though, with, with what, a grown what, man's face. What style of animation? Huh? Or, or like, like, <laughs> what? Like, Wait, what? <laughs> what, what, are the, what are the visuals like on this? Like, what does it look so, like? So it's like a, a, you're looking at a fish tank, right. and in the fish tank is a fish with a human face. With a, with a 3D it's kind like of thing? Or is it yeah, it's like a, PS1 no, it's, it's graphics, 3D. PS2. It's, it's PS2 era. I love that okay. there has to be a tank in the video game yeah. to keep the fish from escaping. <laughs> The video game. Well, it's... And so well, is, is there an well, end game where you, you just interact with this you fish? You interact with it until it becomes an adult and then it goes away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor for childbirth. Wait, it goes away and then the, the, then the, 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 it, like it scrolls credits? Yeah. Yep. Yes. You start, you start the game over. Yes, come, that's... For real. That's for real. On okay. Thanksgiving, it comes back with a horrible girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> It's a poli sci major. It's just problematizing every fucking thing on the table. Does it? Does the fish talk back to you? Yes. And, 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 and what is the uh, vocally like? What, what does it sound like? Uh, it's it's like David uh, Cross. It's like here. I'll, I'll do my Kinda. best impression. It's okay. it's like. <laughs> so, <laughs> how are you doing today? No. I'm asking you, like that. It's got a fucking attitude. And you do you have is it like Sims where you, if if you don't talk to it it dies or do you have to uh, if you don't talk to it it gets stupid. <laughs> so I guess uh, winning is it going away? I huh? guess yeah <laughs> yeah winning <laughs> like, is. I, I would imagine losing is it is it just stays and yeah. eventually mass shoots and blames you in its letter. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> There's one a week for the last ten years. Uh, I tried, when I was playing it uh, for the show, I found a list of all the words that it recognized, and I just was reading the list to it to try and, like, hack its intelligence to make it, like, as smart as possible right away, Uh, and that was not um, satisfying for either of us. (laughs) (laughs) It's the worst way to play a bad game. How does Seaman let you know that he's unsatisfied (laughs) with your course of action? Uh, He, because he's, he really is irritated all the time. Like, it's not a pleasant experience. I'm, I'm really, picturing the most like, uncomfortable I, I, I'm thing. I'm having anxiety right now just thinking about like, it. I'm, yeah. pi- I'm picturing a grown man's head yes. on That's a fish right. body. Yes. Yes. That's like, it sounds like a David Lynch movie. Like it, a, it's not if I go on my feels... phone right now and type in Seaman, will, yeah. I, will I find yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's giving me flashbacks to this, 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 this potentially traumatizing memory I had when I visited my sister's hospital. When I was, and I, I believe I shared on this uh, podcast. And I went, I went. Remember going wandering around my sister's hospital. She was institutionalized for Rett syndrome. And it was a, uh, a big, oh big state-funded building. <laughs> oh, it's so much worse than I thought. This is really gross. And I happened upon this grown man in a crib. I was like eight years old. I'm like peering into a crib because I just hear this sound of a guy going, moo, 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 moo. And then I looked in and it was just like, just a grown ass man with a mustache and a hot combed, like quaffed, like haircut, like, like, like somebody like would come by and like take real good care of him. Like he looked like a handsome movie actor, but he was in a diaper and he was, and he was calling out for his squeaky cow toy. And so when I think of a grown adult man in a fish uh, tank body, yeah. I'm th- I'm, and, and him 
Yeah, I'm seeing it from a distance here. It's not good. Yeah, it's you can good. hand the phone down. It, it I don't like, know about uh, that. Yeah, yeah, pa- pass it along. It looks like um, meaning of life. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, is that, so, so he's designed to look like the <laughs> the, the the customer. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it lo- it looks it looks like a. What does he look like? A gamer. Yeah. <laughs> a circa 1999 so he just, gamer. He, he just swims around and just harangues you? Yeah. Yeah. And, and makes you feel bad for not being a good friend? Or what? Uh, no, I mean, like, so he'll be entertained once in a while. And how does he express entertainment? Uh, that's funny. Uh. <laughs> he, he did say something that, that really surprised me, and I think I talked about this on uh, our podcast. Um, and here I am talking about it again. Uh, he, so... When we were playing it, because we played in a uh, room with uh, with a few people, and at some point he was like, so, do you have a boyfriend? Uh-oh. And I was like, no. And he went, let me get this straight. You do not have a boyfriend. And I went, no. And he goes, do you have a girlfriend? And I went, yes. And he goes, ah, well, it must be hard being in a marginalized group inside of a marginalized portion of the population. Wait, whoa. And I was like... <laughs> Wait, so, so I, 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 I can't tell. Is that woke or is that not woke? I, I, I mean, for 1999, it's super woke. Okay. Like, he, he was not, he wasn't like It's nice. also super sophisticated yeah. from a Turing's perspective. <laughs> yeah. Like, 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 like what, what, how much information had you given it? Yeah, I... I I I had told I talked about my family and my job oh, okay. and my like it like it knew enough about but when it <laughs> said this everybody in the room was like Jesus Christ <laughs> Turn it off yeah. like it's unplugged from the wall <laughs> <laughs> well, I yeah. mean, you know, I know you've probably heard this already, but like, yeah, I think that most of us are listening to this and going, well, that sounds rad, <laughs> both as an episode and as a game and as a job, but, you know, you're giving us the highlights. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's torture. Yeah, the, there was, um, in order to uh, play it with the guest, I had to have, I had to keep one alive, and the <laughs> morning of the show, it died. Uh, I turned it on, and it had floated up to the top of the tank. <laughs> Wait, so wait, there, it can die. Yeah, it can die if you don't like, because you have to main you. It, the internal clock on the system regulates how often you feed it, and you have to like keep the temperature on the water tank. Like it's a it's lot like, of it's fucking like, it's like shit. It's like a fancy uh, what do you call them? Kamaguchi? Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like the reason we all play video games to get away from yeah. it. Like, yeah, it's, it's a human relationship. Yeah, it's a, so so that was why that day I had to power level it by just reading all of the words <laughs> that it knew from like an internet guy. But it, it didn't dig it? it like, no, it, it seemed... It well, it got super wait, well, That sounds satanic. You had to resurrect it by reciting <laughs> words that it knew no. in its death? No, I had a... I, Tennis, I, Satanum, <laughs> Dominus, <laughs> Plato, I had to... Lesbian, <laughs> remember me? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Did, did, wait, did you name it, or is he always named Seaman? He's, you know, you can name him. What did you name your Seaman? Well, I named my Seaman. My I named him Nick. Okay. So that because I thought that would make Nick uncomfortable. <laughs> did it? it? Did yes, it did. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was. Did it ever like bring back that that, that you're gay or that you like you're like a lesbian? That, that, that did it ever like like. Like yeah, it remembered lo- it. Did it ever lord that over you in any way? Like, no, I, lord, no. <laughs> lord it over. <laughs> no, it remembered it though later and right. was like, "So, how is your girlfriend?" Oh, and I'm cool. like, "She's fine. Is she there?" And I was like, "No." And it's like, "Too bad." So I have a shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. Yeah, it's super fucked up. I, I, that's really. Yeah, I, I played Sims for a while. And I uh, I hated it. It, ma- it, it made me feel um, like like there's a lot of it, weird anxiety mm. because if you if you like there's just all, all of a sudden there's flies in the kitchen. Yeah. Because you didn't do. You didn't I don't. Sp- I don't. I don't get stuff that you can neglect as part of a game. That freaks me the fuck out. I'm and like, then, I'm like then, I am yeah. here to neglect my life. And then they, they, they just start walking into a wall and banging their head against the wall and sobbing and in weird computer gibberish. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, that's my well, favorite part. 
I don't mind things that paying attention to them makes them grow. Like, like mm-hmm. you know, like I'll literally just grow fucking plants on some I- iPad game for a year. But like the idea of like them wilting or getting weeds because I didn't do enough. Yeah, I, 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 I just won't. I won't. It, it's a deal breaker for me. And it's crazy the shit that's not a deal breaker for me, especially in like these like uh, these sort of like soccer mom games that I play now like I haven't played uh, the reason your job sounds fun is because at least you're on a console like I just like have left that life like I sit in a in bed and listen to true crime podcasts and I just have like I've by my own volition like with Cody begging me please play Minecraft so I can get some sleep like I'm just like I don't know why I'm just like circling this drain where I'm just playing these increasingly banal games like I'm I'm just I'm playing shop titans now or something like what it's called it's like you just you just run a shop and you just keep making <laughs> weapons people that are going on adventures that are not part of the game are coming in buying weapons from you and leaving the game so they can go play a video game <laughs> <laughs> and my job is to keep the shelves stocked so i don't disappoint them that's how i win and what i win is more shelf space <laughs> um, and i've already put like 20 bucks into it don't even fucking let me kid you <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, I, I can't wait for this wing of my story to be finished. Uh, I'll buy some diamonds. Anyways, <laughs> I sound a lot less happy than I am. So, so you're, like, you're, you're, you're like a forged and fire guy that you just make weapons and then people come I, into your uh, forge. The, and... the honest to God truth is I'm not even making them there. I'm actually subcontracting. There's, there's other... Ki- <laughs> I just run a store. That's oh. it. It's like, it's like a, there's a woman that makes all the magic stuff. There's a guy that makes all of the. Uh, so you're just like the. You're not even the barista. You're just you're just the run in the cashier. Yeah, you're like I'm a like a. Man, your management. Yeah, I'm like a. I'm like a. I'm uh, I'm I'm absolutely unnecessary. Like, like <laughs> it, 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 in a proper society, I wouldn't exist. I I am what Lenin probably called the bourgeois. What was it? Like, what am I? I'm a I'm a bourgeoisie. parasite. Yeah, bourgeoisie. <laughs> <laughs> So, and, and now that game sounds this, like a great one for the podcast. Uh, well, well, and, well, then everything and, and, and the, iPad, the, game. the appeal for you, Dan, is what the the, the lack of responsibility. There's no like, appeal. It's a it's a it's 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 it's, it's a it's a hamster bottle filled with dopamine spikes. <laughs> He's just like <laughs> laughing at it out of habit because the last time I laughed at it, a thing lit up and said five, and I want to see it say six. I, it is. <laughs> The the engineers that make these games have figured it out. There is it's it's a nicotine patch. It's a it's a it's it's a tobacco pouch. It's fucking it's a it's a sharp toothpick. You keep picking at the bloody gum uh, uh, with. It's it's a fucking it's cutting. That sounds great. <laughs> I'm playing a game kind of like that called Merge Dragons. It's yes, like, I know Merge it's the Dragons. Worst, it's the worst game that I've ever played. I like, went through a merge phase. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It seems like the kind of like, it's like, uh, I don't like those games. I like mechanics that are real. But boy, howdy, when you drag three rocks, or if you're lucky, <laughs> five rocks together, and they and become a, a slightly a rock? bigger rock, it's like, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. But I've had days ruined where I go to drag five rocks together, and I accidentally only drag three rocks together. Oh, man. Like, my stomach just sinks like I'm about to get in a car wreck. It's, there's some highs and lows in Merge Dragons. It's the only it's the genre game. of game I think like this should be a tip off to us that it's not it's like there's no way to parody that style of game. Mm-hmm. Like you couldn't we did a joke game a million years ago that was like called Jerry's Game. It was like Jerry was playing it in the thing and there's a, there's an actual game called Jerry's Game. It's just a bunch of balloons and you just pop them. But there are, are still a thousand people out there popping the fucking balloons like and I I, I won't go near it cuz I'm afraid one will be me and like <laughs> Like, just think, it, like, I want to pop a million balloons. And, like, it, 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 you can't, therefore, like, like famously, some of the most successful game game designers, like, who, what was in the Flappy Bird guy, like, doing it as a bit or something? Yeah, I think like, Flappy Bird was a bit. There's, right? like, there's, a, there's, a, there's, like, there's, like, it's, it's, there's, like, a lot of stories about people, like, going, like, so what, if I just do this, like, people will play it? And the answer is yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, because they bother to put, like, this aesthetic into it. I think it's just colors and sounds and things. It's just, it, it all comes down to just this feel. It's a slot machine like a slot, feel. Yeah. It's, like, like you when you merge those dragons, when you pl- water that plant, and it's, like, like there's just certain texture 
textural experience. That's why they tell you to put your phone in grayscale because we're primates whose brains are designed to find ripe fruit. Like the, like we, if we can locate things that look right and feel right, and we can walk backward in our brains to eliminate the most amount of work possible to get that lemon, um, we reward ourselves with heroin that we generate in our own brain, and we are all Keith Richards at this point. That would be awesome to make a satirical version of the game. Like, it would probably be very hard, but, like, super awesome. How would you? I mean, you know, is, is, it's just like is Pocket cheek. Morty's not a sat- satire, and is it not? I mean, I got addicted to that game. Like, I... I, 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 I really want to do an incremental clicker for Rick and Morty because I, yeah. I mean like like the idea of prestiging fitting in with timelines and stuff but whatever. Do you think there's a game that you could design that could end civilization? Like because all the stuff you just said is I think pretty correct, but I feel like somebody with maybe without a moral center could harness all of those things and like really. Because like Pokemon Go right. kind of stopped everyone for a summer, sort right, of. Right, right. Like everybody stopped doing the thi- like we everybody would go oh, to a park. Oh man, yeah, I got it. Okay, great. It's Pokemon Go, except it just makes people go to locations that are like away from a bank or something, <laughs> and then you just rob the bank or commit crimes that are synchronized <laughs> towards where you're directing these people. Yeah, you could take over the world. There was a, I think I it's like a rerun, but it's, a, I, I th- this is semantically, but I think thematically related. There, the, 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 the uh, current thing that's up in the rotation for Radio Lab uh, is about this British game show that's basically the prisoner's dilemma. It's called Golden Balls. Right. And uh, it's just the prisoner's dilemma, you know what that is. And it's like, no. like at the, at the, in, the, in the final round of this game, what they do is they give, they give the two finalists a pair of golden balls. One says split, the other says steal on it. If they both they both talk to each other about promising which one they're going to do and the the uh if they both choose to split, they split the jackpot. If one of them chooses to split and the other one chooses to steal, the person that steals gets 100% of the money. If they ju- both choose to steal, they get nothing, both of them. So the constant thing is like, uh, how? why would you ever um, choose to split even if you're not a bad person, you're af- so afraid of being fucked that you may as well preemptively try to fuck the other person. And it's kind of like what the prisoner's dilemma is, which is the technique that cops use to separate suspects. And they say, your friend's in the other room telling me that you robbed the bank. What do you think? And they'll get false confessions that way, let alone real ones. The, because what are, you, what are you supposed to do if you can't see your friend and go, let's just both tell them they got nothing? Um, the, there was a, the, and the story is about a guy who was like a game show expert who's been on like 46 game shows and he went on the show and kind of broke it by saying to the other guy, um, listen, I promise you I'm going to steal. So if you say split, I'll get all the money and I'll split it with you <laughs> after the show. And the guy, but the, uh, the guy was like, they argued for an hour and the audience was booing the guy because it was just like he was just doing it wrong. You know, he was meta and it was like it, it was he, he. But also he wasn't negotiating. He was simply saying, I'm drawing a hard line. I promise you I'm going to do the bad thing. Therefore, you can bank on it. If you also steal, we both get nothing. You may as well choose split because um, it, it, it was like, it was the practical way to kind of beat the game, um, and also then I think as an added fuck you to the game, the guy chose split, um, the other guy, and then the hero guy also chose split, so they just split the money. <laughs> After doing all that for hours, I think he just changed. I think he just decided that would be extra hilarious. But the other guy, this is what's interesting to me. The other guy said in his post kind of interview about it. You know, he talks about how upset he was with this other guy. He's like, he wasn't, he's not listening to me. It's like, here's my big time at this game show that's been running for three seasons. It's like, this is the thing. It's like, you promise the other person, you play this game, you lock these horns. And the guy's just like fucking laying out this meta bullshit. And like, he won't listen to fucking reason. And it's just making me really upset. But in the end, the guy chose split. And, and by his full honest admission after the fact, he's like, oh yeah, I was definitely going to steal no matter what. 
But he, that's the one thing he didn't do. He, he, the, the guy, in other words, the guy chose the only behavior that changed uh, another person who, whose, whose attitude about the world was predetermined. The, the only behavior was, you know, I would call it honesty again, but whatever. I don't know if that's related. Like, as far as a game that could shut down civilization, it's interesting to me that just in terms of game theory, there always is this, like, odd meta choice that you can use to just short circuit everything. It's kind of it's kind of what people who would be like stoked about Trump's election would say that that's what his election was. Like, well, let's just let's just elect the fucking like the unelectable. Like 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 why are we even doing this anymore? Like why 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 okay, I'll choose that. Like like let's shut this Mountain Dew contest uh uh down, you know. Let's shut this Mountain Dew contest down. And now we're all so happy. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've been liberated. Can I tell, I didn't tell, I was blackout drunk last time you were on, but uh, cool. like. Oh, the, we, we, you, you, Did you can, listen to the episode afterwards? Or? No. All right, great. I, I, I don't want to listen to that. <laughs> I'm a fucking drunk guy, like trying to have a show he can't handle. Um, uh, but did, I, I'm. Did, did I ask for your permission and or share the thing you told me about the uh, the the election when you you told me that you you did the thing and then you took a picture and then you did the. I thing. don't think we talked about that. I don't. I don't. I. I don't remember. Are you opposed to sharing that? No, no. I, I'm. I'm totally. <laughs> this is like. This I, will I, ruin the thing. But I'll, I'll talk about the thing. Wait, what ruin what thing? If I say what I did, holy shit, it won't work. Oh, it won't work. Yes, yes, I know, I know. But okay. I'll I'll say the thing. It's it's kind of worth it because uh, until we all die, you'll you'll you, I uh, like I'm in awe of you. What the fuck? Are, <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this is the most tantalizing, <laughs> enigmatic. So, when when uh, when the election was between Hillary and Trump and the others, uh, I went to my voting place. I was I'm so I was so scared that Trump was going to win that I went to my voting place and I uh, I voted for Trump. Took a photo of it with my phone took out the thing, brought the uh, ballot up, and I went, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, can I have another ballot? They threw that ballot out, and then I got a, another ballot, and then voted correctly, so that if they come to my door, <laughs> and they're like, they're like, you know, the, the, the jackboots are, are there, right. I'll be able to pull out my phone, <laughs> and, like, and be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, th th that was that was the actual motivation for that? Yeah, yeah. Really? Really. Self-preservation. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it wasn't just a bit like this will be hilarious to my friends. No, no, it was. I haven't ever this shown. Will get, this will get you out of one time. Yeah, I haven't I, it. That's and, fucking cynical. And now, now it does. Now it's over. They. <laughs> they I'm will, sorry, they but will, they'll be like, no, nah, we listened. We love oh, Harmontown. We... <laughs> they do. We're hip to that jive. <laughs> then, uh, then I will say. Then I will say, yes, but that was a liberal audience, so right. I had to tell them that I ended up throwing the ballot away, but really I was so proud of my vote, and they'll say, you said that on the podcast. Right. right. <laughs> I like that you're endowing the Trump uh, faction with um, <laughs> forethought and like, uh, like, like wisdom of any kind. I just sabotage you out of jealousy, because when I'm in the firing line, I don't, I don't, I don't be like, fucking Heather, like... like. <laughs> <laughs> I want you next to me. I mean, that's really the only fun yeah. thing about getting shot by yeah. Nazis. And or is this just your way, Heather, on. of of trying to cover your ass because you actually voted for Trump <laughs> and you want? <laughs> but she wouldn't have. She wouldn't have had to explain that. Yeah. No. 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 She's no, 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 she's, she trying, she's 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 being like like like. Like three steps ahead of the Oh, because her phone got hacked by moveon.org zealots. <laughs> and she's afraid that any day now that yeah. she, she knows what's in her photo roll. Yeah, that, that's my... That's oh, God damn it, that photo I took uh, when I proudly voted for Trump. I also made a lot of money on the election. Uh, because, you did? Yeah, because I was, I was so sure he was going to win that I... Uh, the February prior to the election, there's a website called Predict It where you can gamble on politics. And I was so sure that he was going to win... Uh, that you could buy. So the way it works is that um, you buy a share based on the percentage of likelihood that something will happen. So if the payout is a dollar and it's 11% likely that a thing will happen, you buy each share for 11 cents and then it cashes out at a dollar if the thing happens. 
And so I bought a lot of Trump at 11 cents because I was like, he's definitely going to win. How much, how much did you make? Thousands of dollars. What? <laughs> which I left on the exchange because I felt so sick. See, I, I, I knew he was going to win and I got nothing except just sadness. He's also going to win next time, everybody, so uh, buckle up. Man, <laughs> Jeff, think about if that website was around when 9-11 happened, huh? <laughs> Jeff knew oh 9-11 my God, was going to happen. Made a billion I didn't dollars. know 9-11 was going to happen. Jeff knew Wait, it. What? He was telling people for I didn't weeks. know... <laughs> Rob Schraub, you remember you called me up like... Uh, like uh, I like, called Dan. I, you called me. Did I? Yeah, you called me at my place <laughs> when I lived on Talmadge, and you called me up, and I'd already had a panic attack because I thought that the world was going to f- collapse on me and, and everyone was going to die, and, I, and I, it was my job to pray for people on the other side of the world because a horrible thing was happening, and I thought the walls were going to collapse on me. <clears throat> and then I, I finally calmed down after like a half hour of f- like a full-on panic attack, and Shrab called me up and goes, you told me that the... Uh, the uh, World Trade Center towers had gone down. You, the Pentagon got hit. You also told me the White House got hit. That there was, there was like you, you had some misinformation on that. And you said, turn on your TV right now. But it was you that called me and said that that, that was all going down. So you were having a panic attack before the television was on? Yes. I, I woke up she and looking, look, looking back on it, um, I remember looking at the clock and it was like 9/11. 6.0... <laughs> My clock said nine. <laughs> well, it was upside down six. Uh, it, it was it, it was like six six oh three or six oh four, whatever it was. But that that was when like nine oh three or nine oh four, whatever it was, is when the second plane that uh, mm-hmm. hit the tower. But I, I I just woke up screaming, and thought that the walls of my apartment were going to come smashing down on me, and I thought I was going to die. And I just kept screaming. And then I realized, no, it's not me that's uh, that's in danger. It's people very far away. And my job was to pray for them. And I finally calmed down after a half hour of just wailing, screaming. And then Rob caught me up and said, turn your TV on. And then 9-11. If, if you want to be the new Camille, you can engage this. <laughs> Camille was like, are you fucking kidding me? You dreamt 9-11? Wait, can you do a Camille? I, 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 my dream no, is I to do a do fucking Camille Nanjiani impression, and it's impossible. Uh, do, do your best Camille. No, no, I just try, did. Just try, yeah, try, just try. Good. It was good. good. I'm going to walk got, away with those winnings. But keep, keep going. It's fucking, no, no, I, no, I, no. I want to learn how to keep do a Camille. Keep going until I had a fired. fucking insane, record-breaking uh, nightmare oh. uh, a couple days ago. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes we have these amorphous, like, dream within a dream kind of things where it's sort of like, like, like the ingredients are like, uh, oh, I didn't know I was asleep, but I kind of felt like in my dream I was asleep or something like that. But I had a full-blown, like, I I was having a, a nightmare about, like, someone being in my house. And I woke up, like, freaking out, like... Uh, uh, like like kind of panicked and almost unable to breathe, like semi-sleep paralysis, like coming out of the nightmare. And Cody woke up and uh, and was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I just had this crazy fucking nightmare and all this stuff, like full on that whole thing. And then stayed awake, tried to go back to sleep, and then heard more stuff in my house and got up and was walking around that house, which by the way, was not my house because everything I just described was a nightmare I then woke up from because that was all a dream, bitch. <laughs> all of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when I woke up, I was like, I was like, and, and then I had like genuine like sleep paralysis. I was like, ah, ah. And in my real bed, like, like Cody was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, you know what's wrong. No, you don't know what's wrong because this is a different bed in a different house. But I was like, in a different house that was also unfurnished and wasn't a house I had ever lived in, but was living in with Cody in just a bed, but like had no furniture, but was like a big house and was like scary to walk around when you heard a sound and had this whole fucking nightmare in a nightmare. God damn it, you should be more impressed. It was like, <laughs> it was it was like, it was just cliche. Yeah. I mean, like, like it doesn't usually work that way. Like I literally dreamt I was in bed dreaming and didn't know. Sometimes you know, you know, like you kind of know, mm-hmm. eh, whatever. But it was, just thought I'd share that. What, what are you gonna do, cancel me? Dan Harmon has been canceled after sharing a double-layered nightmare. 
<laughs> well, speaking of canceling, I, I was away uh, on a trip, but uh, apparently the show is coming to an end. Uh, yeah, yeah, we should announce yeah. that formally. Oh for, yeah, for the vast minority of people who didn't catch Dan's Instagram stream, we're gonna we're gonna stop we're gonna stop doing the show in December. When like, like, when like, like uh, at the end of December or or at the first? Well, of if, well, probably more the early December since the we probably won't be around to do shows for like you know when everybody leaves for for the holidays. Mm-hmm. So. We got some amazing guests coming up to kind of. Like who? Who are you? Who's coming? Who's coming on the show? Ed Newmeyer. Woo. Robocop. Woo. Screenwriter of Robocop. He didn't play Robocop. There was silence. (laughs) Yep. He's refused to come for eight years. He was like, if you really want me, you'll end the show. We got Laszlo (laughs) Panaflex. There's Flula Borg, the famous YouTuber. That got an ice better than a a, new mic. A two, two applaud, applauds. Two Two applauds. Two singular applauds from a single individual. (laughs) Dave Uh, Foley. Dave Foley is going to be here. Let's go. Let's go. PewDiePie, I think, is coming by. No, he's out of (laughs) (laughs) time. We're all going to subscribe to him while he's here. Or be killed. I had a dream. Can I tell (laughs) you a dream? Yes. I had a dream when I had cancer that blew my fucking mind uh, and gave me a lot of peace. And it was that uh, I lived all the way to the end of my life and was an old woman and uh, was still still uh, with my girlfriend, Mary. And uh, we have spoken in the, in the past about how I want to, if, if uploading your consciousness becomes a, a, a possibility, like if you can dump your load into a computer, <laughs> uh, that... Um, Drop. That... Drop. Sorry, sorry, sorry. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I knew what you meant. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, but if, uh, Heather, uh, wake up. It was all, it was all <laughs> a dream. It was, it was all a dream. <laughs> because you're ahead in a jar. <laughs> Uh, so, so I, I dreamt that uh, we got all the way to the uh, old age and they could, we could do it. Uh, you can upload your consciousness into a computer. And I was like, I want to do it. And we got a big fight. And I was like, well, okay, I won't do it. But then I did it anyway. <laughs> uh, which will be the way it works. Um, <laughs> and in the dream, once I was in the computer, my POV of the dream became inside of the computer version of me. And I discovered that your entire life was like an old iPod interface with like the uh, the scrolling um, album covers, and that you could go back to any part of your life and click on a thing emotionally, mentally, and replay that experience that you had in your life. And then I discovered that you could branch the narrative from within the uh, experience to see what would have happened if you'd made other choices. Ah. And then realized that when we talk about the the reality as a simulation, that it's not uh, a, a grand simulation for all users, but that each user is simulating their memories of the universe uh, and making different choices over and over again, getting all the way to the end, realizing you're still in a computer, and then playing the game from that point all the way backwards. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was my dream. And then I was like, Jeez. oh, so if I die of cancer in this one, I'll just wake up in the computer, and then I'll be like, ah, great. So I know I know this time when I play that I won't, you know, I don't fall, I don't. You wow. know what's crazy about uh, downloading your brain into the computer? Like, what? Uh, like, Unless they decide to then kill your body, your brain will also still exist. Like it doesn't just pour out of your brain. Like it'll it would presumably get copied over rather than like literally jammed into a floppy disk. So you just simultaneously exist as this entity on the computer while your b- body still exists. Unless again, a scientist kills it for you. Do you think? Uh, do, do, I thought it was do, cool. Do you think? It, <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Do you think it, it? This probably is just. Hokum. Like, why would I pull this out of my ass? This is all nonsense. I just, my gut, my gut tells me that before we get to, I'm going to put this bowl on your head and your brain information is going to come out through a hose and then your brain is just, you can just outpatient walk out and go, what would you do today? Oh, I copied my brain. It's in a computer right now. That the technology will first have to go through a phase where you absolutely can't get that information without destroying its original vessel. That it's like going to have to like, like if it's actually going to pull every bit out of that, fucking bowl of tapioca it's gotta fucking stir it and that stirring your brain is well that's <laughs> what happened to kennedy i mean you get your brain stirred by bullets like, like that's um 
also other people too. I, it's, it, 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 Plenty of people. But I, 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 I had a conversation at this at this wedding I was at with a friend. I was talking about because I, I was talking about that uh, Casey Affleck movie where he's got the sheet over him, the ghost story movie. Okay. Have you seen that? No. It's really like heart wrenching, okay. but, but particularly because it disarms you with this hokey hipster thing. And he's just Casey Affleck in a sheet, so it like it divorces you from the Patrick Swayze mythology of like people being ghosts and being like green screened and like going whoa my fingers, um, and it really forces you psychologically to 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 contemplate one of the more what I found to be the stunning facts of death, which is that were you to die and were you to hang around, you would be watching your lover tr like not get over you like uh, in Spielberg's uh, whatever it was with Richard Dreyfuss and Holly Hunter, but Color like purple, like no, that's not. <laughs> but like watching your girlfriend like lose her house keys and like eat a whole blueberry pie because someone told her it was vegan, but then throw it up because she doesn't know what to do with herself and people are coming, but just watching your friends and lovers mourn your passing while you stood there and watched it just devastated me. And it made me realize that the thing I fear about death more than, Oh my God, I'm going to die is like, Holy shit. Uh, I what if I what if I don't just go away? What if I have to think about Cody like like and 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 her having to like put all this energy into my loss like oh that's the last thing I want is for anyone to have to spend fucking tears for me and all this nonsense. And then and and then that and then we started talking about like so if you could avoid that would you? And, I, and I, I, I posed a hypothetical to her, this friend I was talking to at the wedding, where I was like, so say you, someone came to you and said today, they said, hey, listen, I'm from the Umbrella Corporation. I, um, uh, we have a, a program called The Seaman. Uh, <laughs> like, you'll come back to that. Um, no, I thought, like, like, like we, we, we like, like, for whatever reason, we have selected you as a candidate. Like, we don't know when you're gonna die or how you're gonna die, but if you die instantly, like what, if you participate in this program, you may wake up in a hard drive or ideally maybe let's say even just in a clone body, like, like, like that was a clone of your body. Like, like we were working out the kinks but and hey Dan, so, real that, quick, I, I'm getting crazy messages that we have a hard out. In like, oh, sure. okay, in like, we in got like a hard 20 out seconds. So, All right. yeah. okay. Well, so, so I, I was just like, yes, I do it. I do it. I, I, I do it, even though it'd be like fucking Pet Cemetery. We know it would be Pet Cemetery. We know it would be awful, but we'd still do it. This is what you said. Like you, you yes. think like, no, I'd never do that. Of course, we're gonna do it. We're all gonna do it. Yes. Sure. Cliffhanger. <laughs> 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 Let's give it up for Heather Ann Campbell, everybody. We we have a hard out. We gotta get out of the theater. Heather, what? You did it again. It was nice. It was good to see you guys. Do some improv with Jeff real quick. Oh, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, one word at a time story. You ready? Yes. Hi. How? You are. You. Good. Uh, Rob Schraub, everybody. <laughs> Spencer Crittenden, I'm your comptroller. <laughs> Jeff Davis, your mayor, is Dan Harmon. Precious and few are the moments we all can share. We'll see you for a few more before our Harmontown goes gently into that good night. We'll see you all drive fast and take chances, won't you? Get any of that? It's a good show!